Today I'm going to be reviewing a game I made uh, in 2005 when I was a part of the quorum, the uh, robhalford.com quorum. Uh, it's a game called Hell Brawl, and it was for a release that Rob put out called Hell Brawl. Uh, so let's see what happens with it. it the graphics <laughs> are not um, standing up. Uh, so it's beta 1. I, I never really released this thing. Um, but, okay, let's see what the game options are. You can draw guts or not. Definitely want to draw guts. Backgrounds. You can change them to different things. I guess... I think we can stick with the, uh... The Hell Brawl one, or this one. This one, I think it'd be better. Nah, go in Hell Brawl. Game's called Hell Brawl. Um, song, you get to pick from different songs. See what this is. Come on. Oh, it's a MIDI file. <laughs> you know what? I remember doing this because I wanted to provide other songs that people could use, but I wanted to keep the size of the uh, the download to be small. And the only way I could do it was to put in MIDI files. So I think these are more MIDI files. What song is this one? <laughs> Breaking the law. <laughs> I can't believe people spent a lot of time creating these MIDI files. Who would listen to them? <laughs> I guess me. Uh, let's see what this is. <laughs> Alright. Takes the total feel out of the song. What do we got here? The Ripper. Oh, it's amazing to hear these things in, in a different context. Okay. Let's see. Where are we at? Six. How many did I put in here? Living After Midnight? Probably. Oh, it's almost like the, the worst version of elevator music ever. Okay. No, we don't want music off. Let's keep on not random. There we go. Uh, we got our background. Bullet holes fade. No bullet holes. Disappear. Shrink. Let's do shrink. All right. Now, the way you play the game, uh, I believe F1 tells me, uh, you have three minutes to remove as many evils from hell from the screen, gaining various amounts of points from different types of it's a good idea to also shoot the hourglass whenever you see it. In doing this, you'll add anywhere from 5 to 30 extra seconds of time. How you play, you move the mouse around with the... Uh, move the crosshair around, uh, which I think was the, the painkiller symbol, uh, if I remember correctly. And then uh, left-click to fire, right-click to change weapons. Or you can use uh, 1 to 8 on the keyboard to change weapons. Just pause. Or... Okay. So, let's do it. Uh, start game. So now I'm using the pistol. Up at the top left, you can see where I'm using a pistol. Why they're flashing green is probably because of a limitation in the way I was programming. There's the painkiller symbol, though, is the crosshair, which is kind of cool. Uh, if I right-click now, I'm down to one shot left. It's here. Now it's reloading, so I can't use this pistol. Oh, I guess I can use pistol limited. Yeah, it reloads pretty quickly. Right click, it's a chain gun. I reserve that for bigger, oh, here we go, bigger amounts of, of demons. Uh, right click again, shotgun. That's where it's making holes, and they do shrink. Uh, auto shotgun. What does that mean? It's auto, oh, it just hits quicker, I guess. Oh, these sound effects are terrible for whenever I kill things. All right. Proximity bomb. Oh, that's kind of cool, but that's probably for bigger amounts of uh, demons as well. Uh, laser. Well, how's that work? Oh, I guess you stretch it. Well, the laser's kind of... Oh, here, I'll hit that. I got an extra 10 seconds. Oh, I use the laser. If I spin the laser, I guess that works really cool. That does a lot of damage. Go me. All right, let's see. Flamethrower, that's fine. Oh my goodness, I just need to get the laser. Where's the laser? Laser, laser. 
Oh, and I'm out of it. Flamethrower. Uh-oh. I clicked too far down. Flamethrower's out. Napalm bound. Pistol. Right click again. Here's the chain gun. Shotgun reloading. I guess whenever I'm using a weapon, I should use it up until it needs reloading. Otherwise, I'm down to nothing. I gotta get no weapons left. Oh, is it gonna go to a different song? Oh, same good, good song. So we're not listening to MIDI. Imagine the. Oh, time left, 55 seconds. Oh my goodness. I should have changed the monsters out. They shouldn't have been so terrible. These are demons. They're not even animated, which sucks. I, you know, I didn't... I, I'm not a computer programmer. I actually went into... Uh, as a sound engineer, I like technic I like technical things and pushing buttons and everything else, and that's I think why I got into. Um, that's why I got into uh, sound engineering. But programming, oh, what's the word? Laser. Oh, there you go. All right, nine seconds left. Let's see, how I did. I don't think there's anything to, to compare it to. Okay, one second. Game over. Yeah, nobody to compare it to. But, uh... <laughs> All right. There we go. So, that is my Hellbrog, Hellbrog game. If you want a copy of it, let me know. I will send you a link to it. Just message me. Or post a message in the... Uh, in the thread where I'll be posting this video. Alright, thanks guys.